Here is one of the stories we used to love to read. Sleeping Beauty Retold by Jill Davis, illustrated by Eric Kincaid Long ago, a beautiful new baby was born to the king and queen of a distant land. For many years, they had longed for a child, so there was great excitement when she arrived one warm sunny day. We must have a christening party, said the king. Let us invite everyone who is important, especially those who will be kind to her and help her as she grows up, added the queen. Now who shall we ask to be good mothers? She must have seven at least. Then they shall be the seven good fairies, decided the king. At last, the day of the royal christening came. There was a splendid ceremony followed by a wonderful party and feast. There were lots of presents for the new baby. Then, one by one, the fairy godmothers came up to present their gifts and special wishes. She shall be as beautiful as the flowers in spring, said the first good fairy. She shall be as full of music as the singing birds, said the second. She shall be as rich as gold, said the third. What wonderful gifts, murmured the queen. Then the next three stepped forward. She shall be as sweet as summer showers, said the fourth. She shall be as wise as the cleverest owl, said the fifth. She shall be as merry as a bubbling brook, said the sixth. Suddenly, there was a noise at the back of the great hall. An angry fairy was pushing her way through to the cradle. You have forgotten me, she screamed at the king and queen. You did not ask me to the feast. You did not ask me to be a good mother like the other fairies. This was the wicked winter fairy from the north. The queen was afraid of her evil powers and would certainly not have asked her to help look after the new princess. I am a fair of this land too, the wicked fairy screeched. So now you shall have my gift. Your precious princess will die. She shall prick her finger and die on her sixteenth birthday. That is my promise, said the wicked fairy. As all fell silent in shocked horror at her words, the wicked fairy swept out, laughing as she went. You will not forget me again, huh? Then the seventh good fairy stepped forward. I have not made my wish yet, she said. I promise that the princess will not die. Instead, she will fall asleep for a hundred years. Time passed. All the good fairy's wishes came true. The princess was clever, merry, sweet, and beautiful. As the princess's sixteenth birthday approached, the king and queen remembered the wicked fairy's words and grew very afraid. No one in the land was allowed to stitch or sew. Spinning wheels and needles of every kind were not to be used. The princess's birthday arrived. The sky was blue with fluffy white clouds. To honor the princess's sixteenth birthday, a grand ball was to be held at the palace. As the stars shone that night, the princess looked beautiful in a dress as silver as moonlight on the sea. It shimmered as she danced. All at once, the princess felt hot and tired. She had been dancing all night. She decided to sleep outside. There she sat and spotted the light shining at the top of a tower she had never seen before. She decided to climb up and see who was missing the ball. There she found an old lady. She was sitting at a spinning wheel, which was whirring away merrily. The princess was fascinated. She had not seen a spinning wheel before, for her parents had never allowed one anywhere near the palace. What are you doing? asked the princess, putting out her finger. It was but a moment before she pricked her finger. She fell to the ground immediately. At last, my revenge, cried the old lady, who was really the wicked fairy. She flew away on a broomstick, waving her wand to make thunder and lightning crash around the palace. 
So now the princess slept a deeper sleep than anyone else has ever known. Deeper than winter snow. Deeper than the darkest night sky. As the princess slips away into her enchanted slumber, the seventh good fairy arrived. She waved a magic spell so that everyone else there fell asleep too. They all lay down or slid onto the floor to snore and drink. Everyone in the palace slept. They slept for a hundred years. Winters and summers came and went. The sun shone and the rain fell. The royal gardens grew wild and tangled. In time, a dense forest spread all around the palace. The forest grew until the trees were as high as the hills. The plants intertwined like a jungle. No one could make their way through anymore. As the years passed, everyone forgot there had ever been a palace at all. It became a secret palace. People are afraid to go near. It's enchanted. There are ghosts in there, I heard someone say. They would whisper to one another. However, there was just one young man who was not afraid of ghosts or dangerous jungles. He was a handsome prince who lived in a nearby land. He had heard of the enchanted forest. I wish to see this magic palace, he told his friends. They said there are gold and riches hidden in the jungle. He persuaded his parents to let him explore the forest and see what he could find. So one spring morning he set off on his great adventure. It took the prince a long while to ride through the kingdom and reach the enchanted forest. By the time he arrived, it was summer. Although he did not know this, it was exactly 100 years since the princess and the palace household had fallen asleep. As the prince set about trying to cut through the branches, a magic wind began to blow. This was a wind sent by the seventh good fairy. The wind whistled through the trees. As it did so, the spell cast by the wicked fairy would not work properly anymore. The great trees began to disappear. Soon the prince was able to ride freely. As dusk fell, he arrived in the royal gardens. He dismounted and stepped inside the palace. Immediately, he was drawn to a tall tower with a light glowing at the top. There he found the princess. She was so beautiful that, without stopping to think, he knelt down and kissed her. The magic spell was broken. Sleeping Beauty awoke. So did everyone else in the palace. Oh, what excitement there was then! Of course, the prince and Sleeping Beauty fell in love at first sight. They were married the very next day and lived happily ever after.